Oh my gosh. Gail? <laughs> Gail Armstrong. Amber! <laughs> it's been forever. How have you been? Are you still dating that guy? Andre? Yeah. <laughs> well, he's my fiance now. We just got engaged. <laughs> He'll be here any minute. Wow. Isn't that your engagement ring? There's not even a diamond in it. How cheap. Well, Andre talks about getting me a better ring one day, but I told him it wasn't necessary. Well, I would never say yes to that ring. I mean, you should ditch him and get with a guy who's already successful, like I did. That way you don't have to rape for a ring like this. You're engaged too? Yes. This is a five carat BVS diamond. It's one of the most expensive stones you can buy. My fiance Derek makes a ton of money. <laughs> well, it's really beautiful. I know, right? When I saw how big it was, I was like, how can I say no? <sighs> Anyways, what are you doing outside of Darman Studios? I'm waiting for Andre. He works here as a production assistant. What? A PA? Don't they only make like 40K a year? Bro, why would you want to be with a guy like that? That doesn't bother me. Well, it should. Derek works here, but he's a senior director and he's pulling in like six figures a year. Wow. Uh, that's great. Andre has goals to become a senior director one day, too. Honey, let me give you a little bit of advice. Don't wait around for a man to become successful. Just date one that already is. I mean, that's the ticket. Well, I never thought of it that way. I always believe that you should support someone even when they have nothing. Because one day, they'll have everything. <laughs> you can't be serious. Look, let me show you something. You see that car over there? That's the new Lamborghini Urus. Derek just picked it up. What does Andre drive? Oh, <clears throat> uh, nothing special, just, uh, it's right over there. That beat up old Honda Civic? You have got to be kidding me. I would not be caught dead in that thing. You should break up with him immediately. Hey babe, you're not gonna believe this. Hey sweetheart, what's up? You know that promotion I've been talking about? Yeah? Well, I got it. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> you're now looking at the new senior director of Darman Studios! Oh my gosh, honey, I knew you would get it! I'm so proud of you! Thank you. <laughs> but you know, I couldn't have done it without you. That's why. I decided to get you the ring that you really deserve. So let me try this again. Gail Armstrong, will you marry me? Yes, Andre, of course I will. Oh my God. Oh, thank you so much. Of course. But I was fine with the old ring. I know. That's why I love you so much, Hale. You believed in me when I had nothing. And now I just want to give you everything. Thank you, baby. Thank you so much. I've got one more surprise. You know that? old car I've been driving around since college? Yeah? What about it? Well, don't have to drive around in that anymore. You see, with my signing bonus, I bought us a new car. Oh my gosh, honey. Right? Oh, but I was fine with the old car. I know. I know. But lots of things are going to change now. Come on. I want you to drive it first. Oh my gosh, okay. Thank you, baby. Of course. Let's go, come on. Okay. It was nice seeing you, Amber. Good luck with everything. <laughs> Whatever. There you are. Ugh, just ran into this girl from college tried to show me up. We have to go out and buy a Rolls Royce now. Oh, uh, actually... What is wrong with you? Why do you seem so stressed out? You're not going to believe this, but I actually just lost my job. What? 
I was using the company card to uh, pay for personal expenses, and they just found out, so they fired me. Derek! How could you do something so stupid? What do you expect? How else am I supposed to keep up with all the expensive things you want? Oh, I can't believe this. So what are we going to do now? I'm going to have to sell my Lamborghini. The good news is at least I still have my Honda. What? Absolutely not. I will not be seen in some bucket. Well, you don't have a choice. And we're going to have to sell your engagement ring, too. To pay back some of the credit card debt. Uh, what? I don't believe this! Sell my ring? Celine? Hi. Trisha. Oh, I haven't seen you since. You used to make fun of me in high school. I remember. Sorry. But can you blame me? You used to wear those oversized skirts and jackets, <laughs> just like you're wearing now. I see nothing has changed. <laughs> Anyways, what are you doing here? Oh, um. I just finished having dinner with my boyfriend, Nelson, for Valentine's Day. He's grabbing the car. He's um, the one that got me this. A single rose. It's yellow <laughs> for Valentine's Day. <sighs> what it cost him, like $2? Oh, well, it's not about how much it cost. It's all about the love that went into it. <laughs> right. My boyfriend Sebastian got me these chipped all the way from Paris. They're long stem. Probably cost hundreds of dollars, but he's so rich he can afford it. Those are really pretty. I know, right? So what's in the Tiffany's bag? Did he get you some new jewelry? Oh yeah. <laughs> he made me this pendant. Mm. <laughs> Look, isn't it nice? <laughs> it's not Tiffany's. He just used the bag. <laughs> Not really, Tiffany's? Ugh, let me see this thing. Ooh, feels so cheap. <laughs> Is this even real anything? Uh, I don't, I don't think so, but that's not what's important. What's important to me is that he took the time to- my me. man got me a real Tiffany's necklace. <laughs> now this is a pure cushion cut diamond. <laughs> Feel the difference. It's really beautiful, Celine. I'm so happy for you. <laughs> I'm sorry, did you say your boyfriend got you a pure cushion cut diamond? Mm -hmm. That's crazy, my boyfriend got me one too. Okay, but no one asked you. Okay. Anyways, my man is the best. He's always getting me really, really expensive gifts. You know, you should really go for a guy who's got money. That way you don't have to settle. Hey, babe. Are you ready to go? Sure. Um, I'm just going to say bye to a friend really quick. Give me a sec. OK. Let me guess. That's your boyfriend. Oh, and that's the car he drives? Yeah. Why? Oh. No wonder he got you really cheap gifts. Look, can't you see? The guy is a scrub. You should leave him. You know what, Celine? My boyfriend might not be able to get me fancy things like your boyfriend does, but none of that matters. You see? My boyfriend may not give me some expensive flowers, but he's always so thoughtful. He remembers that the yellow ones are my favorite. And that makes it so much more special. And my boyfriend might not be able to buy me an expensive necklace, but the gifts he gets me are always from the heart. And that's what matters the most. And my boyfriend 
might not be able to take me around on dates in some fancy car, but he loves me so much and is so loyal to me. And that's all I care about. So you see, it's not about how much something costs. It's about the love that goes into it. And Nelson has shown me more love that I could ever ask for. <laughs> I'm sorry, but you're joking, right? Girls with broke boyfriends only pretend to be happy. Like, you should see the car that my Sebastian drives. Oh. Excuse me, I'm so sorry to interrupt again, but did you just say Sebastian? That's so crazy because my boyfriend's name is Sebastian too. And he also got me roses and a pure cushion cut Look, di I already told you to mind your business, okay? Nobody cares about your boyfriend. Okay. There's my Sebastian. In the new Camaro RS edition. Listen, take my advice and don't go for a broke guy. You'll thank me later. Hey, babe. You ready? Hey, sweetheart. I was just- Sebastian? What are you doing here? You said you were out of town until Friday. Oh, um, I, I, I was. I mean, I, I, I am. I, what are you doing here? I'm here with Becky. Wait, you two know each other. Uh, yeah. Sebastian, what is going on? <laughs> Look, Celine, sweet pea. I can explain. This is sweet pea? And you call her that too? This is unbelievable! Wait, 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 Becky, Sarah! Hold on. I can't believe this is happening. Listen, just take my advice. It isn't about how much something costs. It's about the love that goes with it. Happy Valentine's Day, Celine. What about that guy over there? He looks like a nice guy. Nice guy? I'm not looking for a nice guy. I'm looking for a guy that's rich. Someone who drives a nice car. Maybe like a Porsche. That guy over there looks like he drives an old Volkswagen. <laughs> and now he's coming over here. Great. Uh, um, uh, hi. Uh, sorry to bother you. Uh, my name's Benjamin, and I just wanted not to- Not interested. Uh, well, actually, I was trying to talk to your friend here. I would love to have a drink with you at the bar, if, if that's OK with you. Didn't we just tell you that we're not interested? Besides, we don't drink from the bar. Or VIP bottle service only. <laughs> so get lost, loser. OK. Sorry to bother you. Hey, wait. I was going to say, actually, I'd love to have a drink with you. Yeah? Yeah. Great. I'll meet you over at the bar. OK, yeah. See you there. OK. All right. Bye. What are you doing? He clearly doesn't have any money. But he looks like a nice guy. And that's all I care about. Besides, you should never judge a book by its cover. See, this is exactly why you're going to end up with a broke dude. I wouldn't be surprised if he made you pay for your own drinks. Well, how you doing, beautiful? Uh, I'm better now. <laughs> What is your name? Well, I'm Richard, but uh, you can call me Rich. I like the sound of that. <laughs> well, listen, I just ordered a bottle of champagne and a VIP. You should come join me. VIP? VIP. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just give me one second. I'll be in the VIP. Next time, take my advice. You won't have to end up with a broke guy. Have fun at the bar with Broke Benjamin. So, I don't think your friend likes me very much. <laughs> well, she's a nice person, but all she cares about is finding a rich guy who drives something like a Porsche. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's like 
every girl in LA. <laughs> yeah. Is that what you're looking for as well? Oh, no. Yeah. No, not me, no. <laughs> no, as long as he's a nice guy and has a good heart, that's all that matters. How much money he has, it doesn't really make a difference. Wow. Whew. <laughs> <laughs> that's so refreshing to hear. You seem like a great person. It's pretty hard to find that nowadays. Yeah. Here you are. They're on the house. Thank you. Here. Wait, why did he just give these to you for free? Uh, don't worry about it. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Seriously. Here you go, sir. Your bottle of champagne. Thank you. Here you go. All right. Here you go. You can put it on this card. Mm. I could get used to this. Mm. VIP? Bottle service. Mm. I knew I liked you, Rich. Oh, do you? Enjoy. Thank you. All right, so after this, when we go back to my place, my car is parked right outside. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'd love that. All right. <laughs> so my car is right over there. <gasps> oh, wow. Is that a Porsche? Yeah, it is. <laughs> I knew it. I knew you had a nice car from the moment I saw you. I gotta admit. I like you, Rich. Oh, actually, that's not my car. Well, which one is it? It's this one, the Volkswagen. Uh, what? You drive a Volkswagen? What's wrong with that? Uh, I can't be seen dating a guy who drives a crappy car. I thought you had money. Hey, <laughs> I've been looking for you everywhere. Is everything okay? Well, it was. It's not anymore. <sighs> Come on, let's get out of here. I'll call us an Uber. Oh, Molly, you don't need to take an Uber. I can give you a ride. What? No, she's not going in your busted whip, wherever it is. <laughs> it's actually right here. What? This is your car? Yeah. <sighs> I thought you were broke! You didn't even have bottle service at the club. <laughs> I don't need bottle service because I actually own the club. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, it's one of many. Well, that explains the free drinks. Yeah. <laughs> Why didn't you tell me? Well, I wanted to make sure that you liked me because of me, not because of my money. Can I give you that ride? You sure can. All right, let's go. <laughs> okay. Um, I'll meet you in the car. Just give me a second. Okay. Okay. Girl, you should have taken my advice. Never judge a book by its cover. I'll see you later. This is the worst day ever! If you can afford bottle service, then why drive a crappy car? Hey! Is everything okay? Well, no, actually your credit card didn't go through. Do you want to pay this with cash or your debit card? Honestly, I don't have this type of money in my account. So I was trying to use credit. Better figure something out. <sighs> hey, I know this is gonna sound awkward, but um, do you mind paying for the bottle service? <laughs> no, but seriously, as soon as I found out he drove a Honda, oof, I got out of there as quick as I could. Oh, oh holy. No. <laughs> Can I get you ladies anything else? Um, how about some shots of 1942? Aren't those like 50 bucks a shot? Yeah, so we'll take three. Sounds good. First the steak for lunch, then the shots of expensive tequila. Oh, where is all the money coming from? Oh, you know. Ever since I started dating Nelson, <laughs> over here. 
You're dating Nelson? Why? You'll see. Hey, babe. Hey, hey guys. <laughs> hey, babe. Uh, I'm sorry that you're a little bit late. Um, we were just finishing up. Oh, that's all right. I wasn't that hungry anyway, so. All right, here we go. Three shots of 1942. Can I get you anything, sir? Yeah, I just a glass of water. Thank you. And so, of course, I'm just gonna place a check right here. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot. What's wrong? I left my card at home. Oh, I'm such an idiot. Hey. Now, don't call yourself that. No. I just, I told the girls that I was gonna take them to lunch and it was gonna be my treat. Now I can't, so I just feel really bad. You know what? I'll take care of it. No, I couldn't possibly. No, it. really, it's okay. Here. You're such a gentleman, Nelson. <laughs> well, anything for my pookie bear. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> So, <clears throat> what should we do now? Well, I was thinking, maybe we could do a little bit of shopping? Mm. That sounds good to me. I'm down. Uh, here's your water, sir. Thank you. Of course. Oh, all set? No, Nelson Rodriguez. I have the same last name. <laughs> Cheers. 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 Cheers, you guys. Right? Mm. Mm. This dress costs 150 bucks? This store is way too expensive. <laughs> yeah, let's go somewhere else. I don't have that kind of money. <laughs> you guys just get what you want. It's fine. I'll have Nelson pay for it. Seriously? He'll pay for us too? How does he have so much money? So his mom owns this big financial company. She is loaded. <laughs> Why else did you guys think I was hanging out with him? <laughs> Now it all makes sense. Hello, ladies. Would you like to try this on? Um, yes. She would. And if you have that dress in the same size but a different color, she'd like to try it on as well. Absolutely. Come with me to the dressing room, ladies, and I'll get you set up. Now you both have dresses to wear to my party tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Go try them on. I have work to do. <laughs> Hey, find anything you like? Yeah, a couple pieces actually. <laughs> but I probably shouldn't be buying anything right now. Why not? I didn't want to tell you. <laughs> no, I shouldn't. Hey, I'm your boyfriend. You can tell me anything. Well, my mom is sick. And my dad just lost his job, so. <laughs> I've just been really stressful at home lately. Oh my god, babe, I, I'm so sorry. I just thought buying a few dresses would make me feel better, but I'll just put them back. Wait, no. Now I feel bad. Just give them to me, okay? I'll, I'll buy them for you. No, I can't let you do that. They're expensive. That's okay. Whatever it takes to make my girl happy. What did I do to deserve such a sweet boyfriend? <laughs> oh, I'll be right back. I'm gonna get a couple more pieces from the dressing room. Oh. Oh, okay. Nelson? Hey, Nelson. Adam? Yeah, hi. Hey, what are you doing here? I actually work here. <laughs> yeah, and you are shopping for some dresses, I see. <laughs> no, I... I'll see you outside. Okay, sounds good. Wait, I didn't know you were friends with Jennifer. She's actually my girlfriend now. Yeah, we've been going out for a month. I'm buying these dresses for her. Are you crazy? No, don't do that. No, she's, she's basically the biggest user in town. Everyone knows that. Okay, what are you talking about? Do you remember Billy? Billy from high school? Yeah, uh-huh. Yeah, well, she basically used him for every dime he had. I'm telling you, man, she's, she's not a good person. No, my Jennifer would never do something like that, so... 
Well, you should talk to Billy. He'll tell you exactly what happened. Uh, look, it makes me feel bad to tell you this, but she's just with you because of your money. I gotta go, but um, I'll catch you later, okay? That's so sweet. Thank you, baby. You're welcome. Mm. So, should we all go get some ice cream or coffee? Uh, actually, I'm gonna have to start heading home so I can be ready by seven. Yeah, we wouldn't want to be late to your party tonight. You're having a party? Well, I wouldn't call it a party per se. It's more like a small group of my really close girlfriends and I hanging out. Why didn't you tell me? It was just sort of a last minute plan, actually. Yeah, we literally just decided this like a few minutes ago. <laughs> hey, Jennifer. See you at your place at seven? We'll bring a bottle. Can't wait. Uh, we better get going. Yeah, we'll see you guys later. Not much of a girl's night if those two guys are going, right? Those two guys are the boyfriends to two of my really close girlfriends. They're in serious, committed relationships. I had to invite them. And we're not? We are. But Nelson, you and I have been dating for less than a month. You need to relax. I promise you, you have nothing to worry about, okay? Let's go. Hey, is everything okay? My mom's condition got worse. Oh, babe. <laughs> My God, I'm so sorry. Wait, are those the three? I just found out that she got taken to the hospital in an ambulance. Insurance won't cover the cost. Oh, no. Oh, is there anything I can do to help? Oh, I'm really embarrassed to ask. Can I borrow $500? I promise I'll pay you back as soon as I can. $500? That's a lot. I, I knew I shouldn't have come here. This was a terrible idea. I'll just go. No. I'm not saying I wouldn't give it to you. I just wasn't expecting this. That's all. And you thought I was? Getting that phone call was the last thing that I wanted. You're right. Uh, I'm sorry. I cannot even imagine what you're going through right now. Okay, um... Is Venmo okay? Yeah, that's fine. All right. Send. I just got it. <clears throat> Thank you so much, Nelson. I promise I'll pay you back as soon as I can. I hope everything goes well with your mom. Who? Oh yeah, me too. Billy? Hey, it's Nelson. <laughs> I looked up the name of his mom's company on Wikipedia. Okay, Rodriguez Investments pulled in more than $25 million in revenue alone last year. What? That's crazy. I can't imagine how nice of a gift you're gonna get for your one month anniversary. I know, he's been talking about it all week, so I'm gonna be super shocked. <sighs> Do you think he's gonna get you a Chanel bag? Maybe a car. Only thing that kind of sucks is I had to get him something in return. Oh. Couldn't show up empty handed when he's getting me a super nice gift. Mm. There he is. FaceTime us immediately after you open up your gift. <laughs> Happy anniversary. 
happy anniversary. I can't believe it's been a month already. Time flies when you're in love. <laughs> oh, I got you something. Oh. We shouldn't have. Gucci. Wow, babe. <laughs> a wallet. Thank you. You're welcome. And I got something for you too. <laughs> you shouldn't have. <laughs> <laughs> but before you open it, there's something you need to know. What is it? Our relationship is over. <laughs> You're joking, right? No. I don't want to be with you anymore, Jennifer. What? Why not? Because I know about your lies. You see, the other day I went to go meet someone you may remember, Billy. Turns out, five years ago, you told him the same sob story about your mom being sick and your dad losing his job in order to get money out of him. I couldn't believe it. Still, I decided to give you the benefit of the doubt. That's why I went to your parents' house. When I gave your mom a get well card, she looked confused. You know why? Because she's not sick. She told me that you guys haven't even spoken to each other in years, ever since you stole money from her. And just as I thought things couldn't get any worse, your dad came. And as soon as I saw him, I recognized the name on his shirt. Rodriguez Investments. Turns out he never lost his job. He's been working for my mom for years. So you see, it was all a lie. You were only using me for my money and I was just too blind to see it. What? No, Nelson, you've got just me- Just save it. I'm done falling for your lies, Jen. Have a good life. Oh, and thank you for the wallet. Nelson, you can't just leave me! <sighs> you still remember everything from philosophy last semester, right? You yeah. did do your homework, right? I'll be right back. I need you to answer a question for me. I'll, I'll explain everything later. The professor's already waiting. If you don't know the stuff, how are you going to pass the final? Uh, how do you think? Oh, Roy. Are you hiding something? What? <laughs>